Hello friends, welcome to my channel. You are watching Razvi Release and I am your friend Ashik. Friends, today I am going to talk with you about R600A. I have been asked a question again and again by some friends that what is the difference between R600A and R134A and the second question was can we replace one R134A with R600A so in this video I will tell you answer of these two questions and I will tell you also the safety tips for R600A because this is not for use for the beginners because this is highly flammable it, and it can cause injuries if it is not used properly so before going in the video I would like to ask you if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe and also click on bell icon so you will get notification every time when I will upload a new video so as you can see on the can this is high performance drop in for CFC chlorofluorocarbon R12 and hydro fluorocarbon 134A yes friend this R600A is a isobutane hydrocarbon and this is highly flammable so when you are using this you have to be very cautious otherwise you will injure yourself so let me first tell you differences between R600A and R134A and please do not skip if you want if you really want to learn so please do not skip this video watch complete if you do so you will not miss any points and you will never make any mistake while handling R600A and also I want to tell you yes I, I am guessing that you think I am not a good speaker yes really I am not a good speaker but I request you do not focus on my words and how I am saying you, to you just focus on what I am trying to teach you and it may help you I am trying my best to share my knowledge with you so subscribe my channel and after watching this video I will not ask yet to like this video or share this video but after watching this complete please if you like this video please share and subscribe so you are watching Razvi release and let's start first of all I'm going to tell you what is the differences between R600A and R134A R600A is a but isobutane when you compare the change of temperature with pressure the change is drastic in the case of isobutane then in R134A secondly isobutane is a bigger compound from the assured handbook itself it is seen that for normal refrigeration purpose R600A is better than R134A it is because of the following reasons Number one, latent heat of vaporization of R600 and A is much higher than R134A. Second, with small change in pressure, the temperature of R600 and A can be easily brought to required cold condition. Number three, CP of R600 and A much higher than R134A, but the density is a bit lower for R600 and A. From the above mentioned reasons, R600 and A better than R134. A in the performance and also R600A is efficient cooler coolant so it is very I want to how can I explain to you that it will give you a higher performance with low noise if you charge R134A in a compressor you need to charge at least between 5 to 10 psi and the compressor makes noise but if you charge R600A in a compressor the noise will be very less and cooling will be very efficient here the question arises so can we really replace R134A with R600A answer for this question is yes but there is a condition if you directly change the compressor which is R134A R600A 
can replace it r67a can replace it easily and your fish performance will be refrigerator performance will be very good but what if we have to do opposite of that that means what if we need to change r600a to r134a that means you have a refrigerator and the compressor with the label of r600a and you want to charge that compressor with r134a yes you can change it but the cop will be very low if you if you want the performance should be accurate and good for this you have to change the capillary of that free and if you are a, if, and if you are working in this field you may be knowing that what is capillary capillary when you check the freezer of a refrigerator there are two pipes one is inlet and second one is discharge pipe so the smaller pipe that is thin like a wire type copper pipe that's called capillary so if if you need to replace r 600a with r 134a